Okay, okay, well, good morning, Broads fans. You join us here at Barton Turf. It's a Monday morning, and uh, we've been on this boat for a week now. And as is tradition, when I take out a new boat for hire, I'm going to do a little boat review, because, as always, if you look at the Richardson's brochure, you can only get so much from the info and the pictures. It's a lot easier to have an actual look around the boat. So we're going to wave the camera around, and you can have a first-hand look at Ruby Gem 2, which this is, and you can see if you like it, maybe you want to book it. So here she is from the back, of course. And uh, you can see from here, it's quite easy to jump on and off. It's not stupidly high at the back. You've got a decent footwell at the back there for getting in and out of the back door. Um, as I've always done in previous holidays, we've got the dinghy as well. That's an extra 40 quid from Richardson's if you want it. If you're hoping to sort of stop off somewhere like Ramworth, always worth having a dinghy because chances of getting a mooring spot and stay are pretty slim. It comes in quite useful during the week. So let's uh, take a little look inside. Back of the boat, you've got the bedrooms here. Now again, as is typical of most Broads boats, this is apparently a double bed. Um, it's not very long and it's not very wide. And frankly, for the week, uh, Lindsay's been sleeping in this one, I've been sleeping in the front, and that way we can get a decent night's kit. Uh, you've got a couple of drawers there. A mirror. Hello. And uh, if we just turn it around, just by the back door, quite a decent sized wardrobe here. There we go, it's still full of clothes and things, we haven't quite packed up yet. You've got a bit of a worktop there, some storage underneath there, and if we move the door back, another couple of shelves there for bits and bobs. So, storage in this room is not bad. And uh, you've also got ensuite toilet and shower facilities there. Have a look in here. So we've got the toilet, we've got a sink, and we've got a shower right there, right next to your bed. And here's the cunning thing, there's another door here that takes you through into the main area. But through the bedroom door brings you into the galley area. And as you can see, there we go. A few cupboards and bits here, you've got your 12 volt fridge, your sink, and if we move to the right, four gas rings, a grill, and an oven. That doesn't work. Yes, I was just about to say, my <laughs> missus is about to tell you all about the oven. <laughs> oh, well, we were waiting an hour for sausages, so we to come out the oven to even browned. Um, it's, it's really not worked at all, so we'll probably mention that. I think so. I'm not sure. Do you know what it like? You light a pilot light and then he mm. whooshes in with yeah. the heat. I think there's something wrong with the pilot light and it's, it's just staying low. It's not heating the oven. Yeah. So what we've made do without it, but if someone, if you led kids on board well, and you're relying on the cooker all week and then... Mm. Well, hopefully it's an issue that will be fixed and whoever hires this by next time, it'll be fixed it by then. It should be all right, yeah. But other than that, I mean, the tops work perfect. The grills work yeah. perfect. So yeah, no complaints. We met well anyway, yeah. so. So yeah, that's the kitchen, or galley should we say, as we're on a boat. Uh, but moving to the right, there you can see this is, again, this is fairly standard stuff on all the Richardson's boats. You've got a little cast area there. Um, it's got Wi-Fi there. Uh, below that, you've got a TV and video. Um, the DVD, you might notice, has got a USB port here. So I think you, there's probably the ability to plug in a flash drive with films if you haven't got any DVDs. I mean, if anything like me, I haven't bought a DVD in the last 10 years. And you can see there's a sort of permanent table breakfast bar type thing opposite. And then you've got the big sofa at the front. That also doubles up as the extra berth. This actually pulls out uh, probably about another foot or so. And that's technically a double bed, but realistically it's a single if you're as big as me. So between the two, it's slept two okay. And of course opposite the sofa, your driving position. It's quite a comfortable chair there, I couldn't complain. It's nice that it's big enough that two can sit here. So if you, do, you can just be sort of gliding along, sitting next to each other, taking turns on the steering. And if ladies, you know. if you're driving, it's great. Put a pillar behind your back and you can sun your pins while you're at it. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I'll say this for this boat, the driving position, I quite like it. There's a lot of visibility. Um, nice big windows. You've only got this slight sort of bit here where the door is, but it doesn't get in the way. And probably one of the favourite things I like about this boat, which I've never had before, is having this little doorway that comes through here. So if you're just jumping out to grab the ropes or got the mud weight, or just come out here with the camera. It's great, nice easy on and off. 
But yeah, we're liking that. So fairly standard controls across the front here. You can see RPM gauge, temperature, oil pressure, battery voltage, controls for the pumps and the horn, standard stop start reverse, Morse controls there. And if you want to charge up cameras, phones, that kind of thing, we have a 12 volt socket right there. And we just use a little double USB adapter to keep our phones topped up. But of course, there is no such thing as the perfect boat. And um, certainly if you're like me in six foot 10, and you don't like bumping your head on things, there is an issue. And the issue is the canopy, which has, to be fair, a lot of boats have this. You can see this sort of horizontal beam that, thing that supports the canopy. And Pretty yeah, effect. you can see Lynn's here, not a problem. <laughs> How tall are you, Lynn? 5'4". She's 5'4". I, on the other hand, am not 5'4". If I turn that around, <laughs> you can see the problem. Now, all week, and I do mean all week, I've been cracking my head on this damn thing. And if you look carefully, can you see along here, all these little stains? I think these are previous blood stains from other tall people that have hired this boat and cracked yeah, their head on it. <laughs> and of course, here's the canopy. Um, it slides, but I'll be honest, it's hard work to slide this canopy across. I'm not the world's strongest man, but I'm not a complete girl either. But here we go. Let's get it started. It's hard work compared to Capri that we hired last time. This canopy is hard work. Shall I get it back again? Oh, I'll right, we'll pull it back. Hang on. See, I'm thinking um, elderly or a small lady. Yeah. And that'll definitely have problems with yeah. that. Okay, so as an experiment, we're going to get Linz to shut the canopy. <laughs> Go on, you can do it. I actually can't. No. no, we're not putting this on for the video. She it, genuinely, it, genuinely cannot shift it. No. No. I can swing from it though. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go then, folks. This is Ruby Gem 2. It's, I'll be honest, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. It's not for everybody. Especially as, like we said with lens, if you're a bit sort of frail and, and uh, not up for pulling that canopy back, it's hard work. Hopefully, like I said, whoever hires this next, the cooker will be fixed by then. I'm sure that's no big deal. Um, but there you go. You've got to bear in mind as well, this is a budget end boat, so you do get what you pay for. You can spend an awful lot more money on this. And me and Lynn's a peasant, so we go for whatever's cheap. And all things considered, it's not a bad bet, but I think we do still prefer Capri and we'll probably be hiring her next year if the time comes. <laughs> so yeah, whatever you're hiring, have a good look through the brochure, have a look at the reviews, whatever you're having, hope you have a great holiday. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>